What's up guys, welcome to another eBay Miniature Rescue. This week we're going to tackle this ridiculous Fire Slayer. I picked this up on eBay for a dollar with I think two dollars shipping. So I got a decent deal but it's a pretty wrecked miniature so we're going to try and save it. We'll see how it goes. You can usually buy these new, the Auric Rune Sun for roughly between eight and twelve dollars uh with shipping so it's not like we're saving a bunch of money here but i thought this would be a good exercise in taking a wrecked model and just seeing what happens all right we're gonna start with the trusty vallejo gate air dwarf skin which is very appropriate for this model With Vallejo Game Air Flesh Tone, I'm going to give a quick highlight to the top of the skin. With Vallejo Model Air Burnt Umber, I'm going to use that with a little bit of the skin tone, the flesh, and create shadows. With Vallejo Game Air Red Terracotta, I'll be blocking in the hair and the one cloth section. Adding Games Workshop's Troll Slayer Orange to the mix, I'm going to give highlight and just continue to build up the orange on the hair. Now with pure Troll Slayer Orange, I'm going to brighten up the hair to get that fiery orange color. Using Reichland Flesh Shade, do a quick wash over the skin. Uh, using Incubite Darkness, I'm going to do all the leather straps and adornments that would be cloth. And I've done this on all of my other Fire Slayers, so I figured why not bring it into this and just keep it consistent. Because if it does turn out alright, then I can use it.
Using Lead Belcher, I block in all of the weapons and other metallic areas. Using Screaming Bell, I take care of the horn and all of the runes on the body. with a bad and black to do the weapon handles. Using Cadian Flesh Tone, I start to layer the skin and avoid the recesses to give it a little bit brighter look. Fuegan Orange for all of the hair. Use known oil on all of the silver parts. I also used it on the leather and the loincloths to darken it down um, and give it more depth. Using 
using Fire Dragon Bright, uh, it's time to layer the hair and really give it that dwarf look. Fire Dragon Bright is uh, its a pretty see-through color. Um, it goes on a little funky with the airbrush or else I would have used it on the hair. I've tried it before and it just kind of doesn't quite pop the same way when you when you edge with it. So I went through each strand of hair and edged it and I think that it really made the big difference for this model. P3's Radiant Platinum, I go over all of the uh, metallic details and just liven it up, give it some edging, go over some of the runes just to get those reflections to pop when you, when you turn the model around. I found that uh, you know, traditionally, you use the gold on the runes for these fire slayers, and it looks really good when you have a really bright skin tone, but if you darken it down too much, and like in my case, the, the skin is not that bright even after layering, and I don't want to go too much further because there's already so much paint on this model, um, I should have probably just gone with something like, a, like an icy blue to really make that stand out, but you know, next time. So I got this model for super cheap and really I just wanted to see what I could do with it. With all of these disgusting caked on layers, even using the airbrush, doing minimal things, just kind of giving focus in certain areas, I think we got to a tabletop standard and I would use this on the table. So thanks for joining me again this week and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next rescue. Thank you.